Hi. Uh, I want to go to this place. Huh? Okay. Anyway, ah, uh, here's another tuk tuk. Hello. I won't go to this place. Okay. Attempt number three. Here. I know I like only English. Anyway, this is the third tuk tuk. And none of them know the address I need to go to. And I'm going to the money changer to change money. You can help, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. I won't go to this place. So here's Forex money changer, ground floor. Yeah. This is in Lajpat Nagar. Or you want this yeah. address is yeah, in yeah. Lajpat Nagar. And a young man helps me find a tuk-tuk. We chase that driver away because he asked for twice as much. And here's my Indian friend, a newly minted friend. He himself chased that driver away saying, why are you cheating the man? Why are you giving him double the price? So we have now crossed the road and we'll be getting on another tuk-tuk and he will already arrange for me to be taken for the real amount. Attempt number five. I dropped off all my stuff, took a quick shower. On the sixth try, I caught a tuk-tuk with the help of my new friend. And by the way, he lives in my hostel as it turns out. Here we go. I guess if I see him again today, I'll get to know him better and see what he has to tell us. And anyway, we're on our way to change money now. No, thank you very much. I don't want this three boxes. Thank you very much. I don't want And just like that, the real man doesn't understand that I don't need it. Says he's got kids, they need the money. Well, shit. If there was something worthwhile, you could have taken it. I honestly didn't even realize what it was. I turned around five times and looked at the box and still didn't realize what it was. And of course, we work from Google Maps. Here too, everyone's begging for it, and as soon as I get the camera out, they all leave. This is the alternative to our tuk-tuk. This is a cycle rickshaw. It's basically the same thing, but instead of a motor, there's pedals. Guys, check this out. Pineapples in pieces, 50 rupees for a small package. And 100 for the big one. No, the small one. One dollar is 70 rupees, so that's a little less than two dollars. I changed 110 dollars. I got 7,700 rupees. Hello, everyone. My name is Jabarov Taral, and we're going live now. We are in some bazaar in Delhi. We've gotten the idea to buy me a national headdress. We've been walking around for 40 minutes. We can't find it. We've been asking everyone. Everyone sends us to the left, to the right. But in the end, we're all circling the bazaar. And we still haven't bought one. Anyone? Setting 
Guys, we finally found this place, and now I'm about to be tied into a national Indian headdress called a Darbin. It literally cost me $4. I chose a yellow color like this. And today I'm going to be a real Indian. <laughs> How beautiful. <laughs> the first insurance was a success. Half six. You are, your base is still half six. This time, if you hear this, you are full six. <laughs> he said the first time you have to wet the material with water. Guys, it's just a mile long piece of fabric, and now it's going to be on my head. <laughs> <laughs> so dear friends, what do you think? My little dream has come true. I'm walking in Delhi. I'm wearing a Darbin. This is a unique day because today is one of the most wonderful holidays in India. Today is the festival of Diwali. It's the festival of lights. And it's also a unique day because I've been given this Darbin. Just so you understand, it's not done to everyone. I don't know, I guess I was tied because today is a holiday because on a normal day they wouldn't do it. Only religious people can wear that. And I'm a foreigner and I'm a tourist. Anyway, walked around the market, bought me a darb, and now we're going to the hotel because I forgot my flashcard. And we're gonna walk around the city because today is a holiday. It's Happy Diwali. And we'll see what's going to happen in the city. There's going to be a lot of fireworks, a lot of noise, a lot of lights. A lot of people are going to be there. It's going to be very interesting soon. We're on an auto rickshaw. The driver doesn't know where to go. Nastya gave him her phone number. Now pay attention. Look how he tied it to the steering wheel. Here's Nastya's phone. Look, on the rubber band. The, yes? Happy Diwali, my friend. So guys, we went out to eat, we went to the restaurant, and look, there's nobody else in the restaurant but us. And it's like we just rented ourselves a restaurant. It's a holiday and everybody's celebrating at home, so it's just us in the restaurant. So uh, let's see. What's in here? Okay, to be honest, I have no idea what I want yet. So we looked at the menu, we didn't like anything, we decided to go to another restaurant. It's literally three kilometers from here. Now let's catch an auto rickshaw and let's go. Anyway, we arrived at the restaurant and today is a little surprise. Today is a holiday. And on this occasion, the restaurant removed all the tables and chairs and they just made this, I don't know, a candy fair. You just walk up here, pick and choose and buy. Walked around the city, invented some kind of temple. There's a lot of deities here. It's very beautiful. People pray, they come in, they light candles. But anyway, it's very interesting here just to watch.
जल पियो हाथ में They gave her some water to drink. We didn't have to drink. We had to wash our hands. <laughs> Seriously? Anyway, guys, they put water on our hands to wash our hands, and I drank that water. And then they gave us something to eat. Wait, is this really edible or not? I'm going to do something weird again. Anyway, it's funny. It's a funny start to my adventures in Delhi. I hope the water wasn't tap water because you can't drink it. Ladies and gentlemen, we were looking for a restaurant to eat at. We didn't end up finding one, but we did find a cool temple. They give everyone a candy bar on the way out of the temple. Shukriya. So they gave you a couple of cookies and some candy. And now we're going to taste these sweets for you and tell you what it tastes like and why. So the first one, which is so soft, you've already eaten it, right? Yes, it's very sweet. Yes, in Azerbaijan, we make halva out of it. That, yeah. And it's the same with Azeri halva, but ours is just sweeter. To me, it was like door blue cheese. It's like a soft cheese. And this yellow stuff, it's really good. It's really sweet. Check it out, guys. I'm also adding silverware. It's really good. It tastes like condensed milk. It's just like the condensed milk has dried up a little bit. It's a little bit stiffer. It's like semolina. It's really good. On the way back from the temple, we found this leaf. Look, my hand. Here in a tree leaf, holy shit. Little kids are running around blowing up firecrackers, which I've been scared of 20 times here because you can't see where they're going. Yeah, the game wants to look at that. Ah, uh, yeah. I felt that wave, you know. All in all, I've been scared 21 times. Let's move on. Now we decided to take a rickshaw ride. You know what the funny thing is, guys? We didn't say where we were going. It just started up and drove. And now let's see where we're going. Uh, no problem. Anyway, we decided to come to some bar. We want to sit on the roof to see the festive deli because there are fireworks everywhere, if you can hear it. Here, and the best place to see it all is, of course, from the roof of some place. Here, we've come to a place. Is this entrance closed? I know, there's a back entrance. Let's go find it, and while we're looking for the entrance... Oh, sorry. Well, let's go for a walk. It's closed again. This is about the fifth or sixth place that's closed for us today. So we'll just walk around. Today is a holiday. Everyone is resting at home or sleeping. Namaste. Happy Diwali.
Well, there's food in there. And you know what's amazing? We went up to the top floor, we walked all over the place, walked around. We found some refrigerator with food in it, and the funny thing is, there's nobody there. I mean, you can come in, do whatever you want. You want to actually get some food, and that's it. Nobody's there. Everybody's downstairs somewhere or asleep. That's why everything is so trusted here. Everybody trusts everybody. They don't even hide anything. If there was a refrigerator like this somewhere in our countries, I swear there would be a lock. Anyway, guys, we found out that today almost all places are closed, so we came here for nothing. We went upstairs, looked around, everything's closed too. And all the places around here are closed too. Because it's a holiday, everybody celebrates at home. That's not what I expected, of course. I thought I'd fly in, I thought I'd go to the party. The whole city's out partying like we do. There's all kinds of, I don't know. There's performances, shows, fireworks, but in the end, every family just spends the holiday at home. That's why the streets are empty, strangely enough. Although there are a lot of people in Delhi. And we're just walking around like a ghost town. We come to our hostel and we're having a party here on the roof. We're all celebrating together in the couch tonight and we got these floral decorations. I didn't get it in because of my headdress, so I have it up here like this. All the residents of our hostel, a small international family, now will have something to drink. Anyway, we have dance practice. This is a beautiful girl. She's going to teach everyone how to dance. Now I remind you that today is a holiday. Everybody's drunk. Let's see what we can get out of this. 